Welcome to a lesson on simplifying algebraic expressions. To simplify algebraic expressions, we'll follow the steps outlined here. Step one, we'll simplify within the parentheses, if possible. Step two, we'll use a distributive property to eliminate the parentheses. And finally, step three, we'll combine the like terms. So looking at our first example, notice how we cannot simplify within the parentheses. So we'll begin by distributing to clear the parentheses. So here we'll distribute negative three. And here, because of the subtraction, we'll distribute negative one. So negative three times two x is equal to negative six x. Negative three times negative four is equal to positive twelve, so we have plus twelve. And then we'll distribute negative one. Negative one times three x is equal to negative three x, so we have minus three x. And then we have negative one times positive eight, which is negative eight, so we have minus eight. And now for our last step, we'll combine the like terms. Notice how we have two x terms, and we have two constants. We do want the final expression in descending order, so we want the highest degree terms first. The x terms have degree one, and the constants, because there are no variable factors, have degree zero. So we'll put the x term first, negative six x minus three x is equal to negative nine x and 12 minus eight is equal to four, so we have plus four. So the given expression simplifies to negative nine x plus four. Now looking at our next expression, we want to begin by simplifying inside these brackets. Within the brackets, we want to clear the parentheses, and because of the subtraction, we'll clear the parentheses by distributing negative one. Notice how we cannot simplify within these parentheses. So we have three, times the quantity two, and then negative one times x, that's negative x or minus x. Negative one times negative five is positive five, so we have plus five. And we still have minus the quantity four x minus 10. And now we can simplify within these brackets. Two plus five is equal to seven. So we have three times the quantity seven minus x, and then minus the quantity four x minus 10. And now we'll clear these brackets by distributing positive three. And we'll clear these parentheses because of the subtraction by distributing negative one. So three times seven is equal to 21. And three times negative x is equal to negative three x or minus three x. And then we have negative one times four x, that's negative four x or minus four x. And then negative one times negative 10 is equal to positive 10, so we have plus 10. And again, our last step is to combine the like terms. Once again, we have two x terms, and we have two constants. And again, to put the final expression in descending order, we should write the x term first. So negative three x minus four x would be negative seven x. And 21 plus 10 is equal to 31, so we have plus 31. It wouldn't be wrong to write this as 31 minus seven x but it's better form to write the expression in descending order. Notice the last two expressions are in fraction form where the denominator is a single term or a monomial. And remember the fraction bar means division, so when we divide by a monomial, we simply divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. So here are some notes that might be helpful. The quantity a plus or minus b divided by c is equal to a over c plus or minus b over c. Of course, we'll apply this after we simplify the numerator. But for c, notice the numerator does not simplify. So to simplify this fraction, we have eight divided by two minus five x divided by two. Well, eight divided by two is equal to four, so we have four minus, notice this fraction does not simplify, so we can just leave this as five x divided by two. Or if we want, notice how the coefficient of this term would be negative five halves. So we could also write this as four minus five halves x. Or if we wanted to have this in descending order, which is preferred, we would have the x term first. So we can write this as negative five halves x. Notice the four is positive, so we'd have plus four. Any of these last three expressions would be acceptable. And now for D, 
Before we break it up into separate fractions, we do want to simplify the numerator. So notice how they clear the parentheses here because of the subtraction, we would distribute negative three. So in our first step, we would have nine and then negative three times two x would be negative six x or minus six x. Then negative three times negative five is equal to positive 15, so I have plus 15. I'll divide it by negative six. Notice how we have like terms in the numerator. Here we have two constant terms. Nine plus 15 is equal to 24. Let's go ahead and write the numerator in descending order, so we'll put the x term first. Let's write this as negative six x plus 24 divided by negative six. And now that we have the numerator simplified, we'll break this up into two separate fractions and then simplify each fraction. So we'll have negative six x divided by negative six, and then we have plus 24 divided by negative six. Well, negative six divided by negative six simplifies to one. So the first term is just x, then we have plus 24 divided by negative six is equal to negative four. So we have x plus negative four, but we shouldn't leave it in this form. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So let's write this as x minus four. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.